Are you ready to unlock the inner strength you never knew you had? In this video, discover the timeless stoic secrets that will transform your life and help you overcome any challenge with unshakable confidence. Step 1. Set clear goals. When we don't have a clear goal in mind, we often feel lost and aimless, which makes us angry and unhappy. Setting clear, doable goals that are in line with your values and principles is the first thing you need to do to tap into your inner power. Stoics thought that knowing what you want out of life is the best way to start growing. Having clear goals gives you a reason to live. With a clear sense of purpose, you can focus your time, energy, and attention on what means most to you. Think of your goals as a lantern that will help you get through life's storms. If you don't have them, the waves will carry you in any way. But how do you make these plans? Take some time to think about what's important to you. How would you like to live your life? What do you believe in deeply? Your goals shouldn't just be about getting things you want, but also about what makes you feel truly fulfilled. As an example, a stoic might not only want to get rich. Instead, they might want to live a good life, do good things for society, and keep their peace of mind. Once you know what your big goals are, break them down into smaller steps that you can easily reach. This not only makes them less scary, but it also gives you little wins along the way that boost your confidence and drive. You are getting closer to the life you want with every step you take. One important thing about stoicism is that it tells us to focus on what we can control. You may want to be great in your job or relationships, but know that you can't always make that happen. You can, however, choose how hard you work, how you feel, and what steps you take to reach your goal. Be ready to change and improve your plan as you learn and face new problems. Making a goal is only the start. The real power is in your ability to keep going even when things get tough. To stick to your goals, even when things get hard, you need to be disciplined and determined. Having clear goals gives you control over your life and helps you find your way. It helps you focus on what's important and take charge of the parts of your life that really count. When you have clear goals, you can turn chaos into meaning and find the inner strength you need to be happy for a long time. Step 2. Embrace challenges. Problems and difficulties are seen not as barriers but as chances to grow in stoicism. This change in how you think is very important for using your inner power. You can use your resilience and strength to turn hardships into stepping stones for personal growth when you take on obstacles. The Stoics thought that every problem was an opportunity to show courage, patience, and knowledge. It's easy to feel strong when things are going well, but your real strength comes out when you stay calm and focused when things get tough. Marcus Aurelius, one of the most important Stoic thinkers, said, What stops you from acting moves you toward action. What stands in the way becomes the way it means that every problem you face can help you better yourself and grow. Before you can effectively take on obstacles, you need to change the way you look at them. Instead of seeing problems as unfair or impossible to solve, start to see them as important parts of your journey. Challenges push you past your comfort zone and see how far you can go. They might be painful, but they are necessary for making you stronger mentally and emotionally. We are actually weaker and can't grow when we avoid obstacles. When things go wrong, we find out what we're really capable of. Once you can think this way, you can face your problems head on. Avoid putting things off or hoping that things will get better on their own. Do something, even if it's something small, to get past them. Embracing the situation fully lets you use your inner strength and come out stronger on the other side. Whether it's a tough conversation, a personal failure, or a setback in your job. Also, it's important to remember that facing difficulties doesn't mean going through needless pain. It means building up the strength to deal with problems in a way that makes your life better, not worse. To fully embrace life, with all of its ups and downs, is what this means, not passively accepting pain. If you love your fate, you stop wanting things to be different and start seeing every experience, no matter how hard, as a chance to grow. By their very nature, challenges force us to change and adapt. Every time you get through a tough situation, 
you get better at dealing with problems in the future. This makes you feel stronger emotionally and builds your confidence. You can use your inner power and reach your full potential when you stop being afraid of obstacles and start welcoming them. Step 3. Practice Self-Compassion Stoicism teaches control and toughness, but it also teaches how important it is to be kind to yourself. You don't have to push yourself too far or be too hard on yourself when things go wrong in order to use your inner power. Realizing that you are human, flawed, and always changing this part of it. When you show self-compassion, you are kind and understanding to yourself, just like you would be to a friend. Most of the time, we are the worst judges of ourselves, telling ourselves how bad we are for mistakes or what we think are our flaws. But the Stoics thought that you couldn't make progress without being patient and kind to yourself. Being aware of your own humanity is not a weakness. It's a power. Being aware of your inner conversation is the first step to practicing self-compassion. When things don't go as planned, pay attention to how you talk to yourself. Are you quick to judge yourself or do you offer support and understanding? Change the way you talk to yourself so that it helps you grow instead of getting in the way. Say, I'm doing my best, and this is a chance to learn, instead of, I can never do anything right. This small change in your attitude will make a huge difference in how you feel and how you deal with life's problems. Stoicism teaches us to accept things that we can't change, like the mistakes we've made in the past. We hold on to guilt, shame, or sorrow too much of the time, which drains our energy and keeps us from moving on. Instead of focusing on past mistakes, see them as lessons that you need to learn from. Epictetus, a famous Stoic philosopher, said, what matters is not what happens to you, but how you react to it. Stop judging yourself and think about what you can do differently in the future. Having self-compassion also means taking care of your mind, body, and emotions. Your health and happiness are closely linked to your inner power. You lose your inner strength when you don't take care of your health, burn out, or push yourself past your limits. It's not a luxury to take time to rest, think, and feed your body and mind. It's necessary for long-term growth and change. Be kind to yourself by understanding that growth takes time. Changing as a person doesn't happen overnight. There will be times when things go wrong, when you question yourself, and when you want to give up. Take your time with yourself at this time. You're getting closer to your goal with every small step you take and every task you face. By being kind to yourself, you build a strong base of inner peace and confidence. This, in turn, lets you use your inner strength and keep moving toward a happy life. Step 4. Connect with nature. Nature is an important part of stoic thought, and it can be a great way to find inner strength and focus. The Stoics often said that the world is like a living thing and that everything is linked to everything else. Being in nature helps us remember our place in the big picture and connect with the balance of everything. Being in touch with nature helps us find peace and a new viewpoint. It's easy to feel cut off from ourselves, other people, and the world around us in our busy modern lives. But being in nature helps us slow down, think, and get back in touch with what's important. Nature helps us tune out the noise of daily stress and worries by reminding us of how beautiful and simple life is. Nature teaches us a lot about how to be strong, grow, and change. After being hit by strong winds, trees get stronger. When winters are the coldest, flowers bloom. There are always changes happening in nature, but it stays steady and strong. Immersing ourselves in nature helps us remember that we have the power to grow and change. Marcus Aurelius wrote a book called Meditations in which he talks about how he found peace and understanding by thinking about the order and beauty of nature. He thought of nature as a reflection of life, showing us that just like the seasons change, so do the stages of our lives. Being aware that everything is temporary can help us let go of stress and fear that aren't necessary. You don't have to spend a whole week in the woods on a vacation to get the benefits of being close to nature. The sound of rain, a walk in the park, or watching the sunrise can help you center yourself and return to the present moment. 
These small moments of connection help you feel more at peace and like your life has a meaning. They also remind you that life is bigger than the problems you're facing right now. Spending time in nature can also help you feel more grateful. Take a moment to enjoy the beauty of the trees, sky, and ocean around you. This will make you feel awe and wonder. Being thankful changes your attention from what you don't have to what you do have. This gives you more inner power. A simple but effective way to boost your energy, clear your mind, and improve your inner resolve is to spend time in nature every day. Nature, with its peace and wisdom, tells us that we can find balance, strength, and renewal. Step 5. Help others. One of the best ways to change your life and find your inner strength is to help other people. When you reach out to help someone, you help yourself too. Stoics believed in the idea of sympathia, which means that everyone is linked and what we do affects those around us. Because everything is linked, when we help others, we help ourselves too. Giving back to others gives us a sense of purpose and satisfaction that makes our inner strength stronger. There are many ways to help other people. It's not always necessary to make big moves. Small things like being kind, listening, or giving advice can make a big difference in someone's life. When you help someone, you show understanding, compassion, and humility, which were all very important to the Stoics. Helping other people also makes us realize that we're not the only ones going through hard times. Moving our attention from our own problems to the bigger picture of what it means to be human. This point of view can be very freeing because it helps us stop thinking about ourselves and see the bigger picture. You feel less alone and more linked to the world around you when you know that other people are going through the same things you are. You feel better about yourself and your confidence when you help other people. Seeing this makes you even more sure that you can make the world a better place. This sense of purpose feeds your inner strength and makes you strong enough to keep changing and growing. According to Stoicism, another way to be good is to help other people. Epictetus said, no one is free who is not master of himself. When you help others, you develop virtues like patience, kindness, and generosity all of which are important for your own growth and control. You connect with your higher self more, and making your ideals line up with them makes your inner strength stronger. Helping other people makes you happy and satisfied in a way that is hard to find elsewhere. Not in terms of material things, but in terms of happiness and inner peace. The more you give, the more you gain. Making a difference in someone else's life makes you realize how valuable and useful you are. Serving others makes you feel more connected to the world, makes you more moral, and gives you a greater sense of satisfaction. By doing this, you can use your inner power to make your life more valuable and important. Step 6. Learn from your mistakes. Mistakes are not fails, they are chances to grow. This is one of the main ideas of Stoicism. To use your inner power, you need to learn from your mistakes. According to the Stoics, no one is perfect, and what makes us who we are is how well we can learn from our situations, good and bad. After a mistake, it's simple to blame yourself or feel bad about what you did. However, the Stoics told us to act in a different way. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this? Instead of focusing on the mistake, we learn something useful from every mistake, and it's these lessons that make us better and smarter. Taking ownership for your mistakes is the first thing you need to do to learn from them. Don't give in to the urge to blame other people or outside events for what you did. When you admit your mistakes, you give yourself the power to change and get better. Realizing that you can't control everything in life, but you can choose how you deal with problems and learn from them is an important part of tapping into your inner power. Next, think about yourself. When you make a mistake, Think about what went wrong and why. Were you not ready? Did you make a bad decision? Or were there outside factors? By getting to the bottom of what went wrong, you can avoid making the same mistake again. This process of thinking about yourself not only helps you learn, but it also makes you stronger and more flexible. The Stoics also said that mistakes shouldn't be seen as losses that can't be fixed. You won't fail at something again, 
just because you failed at it once. There are many ways to get to where you want to be. Seneca once said, every new beginning comes from the end of a beginning. If you see mistakes as chances to learn and grow, you lose your fear of failing and are more likely to take risks and go after your goals. Be kind to yourself and wait. Sometimes it takes a while to learn from your mistakes. Be patient with yourself as you go through this. Think about the fact that growing as a person takes a lifetime and that making mistakes is a normal part of that process. When you are kind and patient with yourself, you make room for growth and change. You can learn from your mistakes and become a better person by taking responsibility, thinking about what happened, and being patient. This change in how you think not only makes you stronger as a person, but it also gives you the strength to keep going on your path to personal development. Step 7. Have faith in your gut. Learning to trust your instincts is the last thing you need to do to use your inner power. It's a strong tool that can help you get through tough times and make choices that are in line with who you really are. The Stoics thought that inner knowledge, also known as the inner guide, was important for living a good life. When you trust your gut, you pay attention to your inner voice and let it lead you. Too often, we don't listen to our gut feelings because we want to follow logic, other people's views, or social pressures. But your beliefs, experiences, and inner wisdom are deeply linked to your intuition. It is possible to use all of your inner power when you trust your instincts. To build trust, start by listening to the voice inside you. Pay close attention to how you feel at different times. Do you ever feel like something is off, even though everything looks fine? Or times when you feel a strong pull toward a choice or path that you can't explain? Your gut is telling you something through these feelings. Next, do small things to get better at trusting your gut. Choose small things first, like what to eat, where to go, or what to do with your free time. You will feel more confident in your ability to trust your gut in bigger parts of your life as you start to trust it in smaller things. The Stoics also taught that your instincts and reason should be in sync with each other. Following your gut doesn't mean moving without thinking. It's about finding a balance between your inner knowledge and making smart choices. You are not giving up logic when you believe your intuition. You are just combining it with a deeper knowledge. This balance lets you make choices that are both smart and in line with who you really are. Even if the road isn't clear, trust that your gut will lead you in the right direction. Things can go wrong in life, and there will be times when you need to make choices without all the facts. When this happens, following your gut can give you the direction and confidence you need to move forward. Someone once said, look deeply into yourself. There is a source of strength that will always spring up if you will always look. That source of strength is your gut. You can feel more clear, confident, and purposeful if you listen to your inner voice, make sure it makes sense, and trust the process. Stoicism is a way to become more self-aware, strong, and grow as you use your inner power to change your life. You can align yourself with stoic wisdom by making clear goals, accepting challenges, being kind to yourself, spending time in nature, helping others, learning from your mistakes, and following your gut. Each step helps you build the inner strength you need to handle the challenges of life with grace and purpose. Remember that changing yourself is a process that takes time as you start this journey. You need to be patient, committed, and ready to grow. Stoicism, on the other hand, gives you everything you need to tap into your inner strength and make your life meaningful, satisfying, and strong.